Well, let's see if you can get rid of this. No, Rosie! Is it though? Yeah, that'd be gross. So I was just casually and intrusively looking at what you lot like to watch when it comes to the videos here on YouTube. And you seem to really like whatever in the world this Riggy character is. There seems to be like two channels based on this Riggy guy. We have Riggy the Rabbit Monkey, and then we have Dan O'Cal Drawings. Yeah, I think this is definitely where he mostly appears. He's everywhere. And on his quote unquote main channel, there's only like, what, five videos or something? Anyway, I'm gonna react to this Riggy thing. Whatever it is about, I have no idea. If you wanna see more of this, over 2000 likes would be fantastic. And let me know some of the stuff that we don't end up checking out in the comment section of this video. So the first one we're going to check out is if rabbits took over the world, question mark. What if rabbits started attacking everyone? That's right. Just imagine for a minute what would happen if every single rabbit in the world collectively decided to start wow. mugging every you can say that about any animal. Stealing everything we owned and began taking us out. There's that would be insane. 709 million rabbits in the world, so they could that easily all band together and outnumber the entirety of the United States. I didn't realize. Actually, I kind of thought there might have been regions, more. Like Russia at 144, Mexico That's actually kind of low. Like. Now, theoretically, let's say they had a goal in mind. Like, I don't know, making a giant pile of all of our stolen things to get to a specific destination, like the moon? That sound crazy, right? Well, believe it or not, there was a video game How made that with even this be a exact thing? premise starring the rabbit. Their entire goal oh, I was never to rob actually all of humanity that. and make a giant junk pile just to get to the moon. Once the rabbits took over and Rayman was no more, I was out. It today. But also, it sounds like something a certain half rabbit creature I know would do. Are you kidding? Of course I would. That sounds fantastic. In fact, I'll help out. So Wait, is this really? kind of just like well, click the what ifs down here or check and out my story times but it includes all of humanity is this Riggy guy? Is that what this is about? Why are people with horns here <laughs> called redheads? <laughs> it's just red actually a good reason for them. Although there are some theories that are really dumb. The most popular is the stereotype that gingers Harry, are what? Or that people with orange that hair is Harry, are the spawn right? of Satan. I should know. I'm from whatever. England. What? A lot of people seriously <laughs> think they're called redheads as shorthand for them being demonic. Whether that be having the oh. face of the devil, fire for their Maybe hair, Maybe in olden times or something. Reality, I never actually really thought about it. Demons, religion, whatever. Oh, it's just not. Because the color orange literally didn't exist yet. Okay, obviously this color existed, but People oh, I see. Yellow, red. People with this color oh, hair red. that's red. It's actually red true. Yellow, so redheads. Apparently, we just never switched to calling them orange heads. Although, to be fair, that does that whole demonic thing, though. Now, I thought maybe that might have been the truth a little bit. You know, my my siblings growing up, the things they did to me. I have no idea how this will make any sense, but tell me, man, prove me wrong. How are lazy people? The best. Why lazy people are the best. Lazy people get a lot of slack for generally not helping society. But That's I would right. Argue they kind of make society way better. Let me How? Explain. The man who invented the car was just tired of walking. The guy who invented the washer and dryer <laughs> oh, okay. was just getting too lazy to wash or dry. His but own it was clothes. a lot of hard work to come up, sign, come up with these ideas. The words is equal to. So he made this sign two identical lines which are equal to each other, and boom, now we have the equal sign. I think you see my pattern, right? Some of the greatest people in history were lazy. I see. Kids, so I get why he's he coming from. Task, but... He'll give it to the laziest person. Person, not to punish them, but because he's sure they'll like find I said, it took a lot of hard work doesn't always mean to produce these to ideas hard. and really making reality because and they stuff. They don't want to work harder than they need to, meaning they find faster, better ways to finish things, so they have more time to chill. So what's the lesson here? Be lazy, because you have a I chance of helping better the world. The people who made it aren't lazy, but the <laughs> but people that's... who use their ideas, like the cars and the sitting down on the beach seats, and the yada yada herpa derp. They're the lazy ones, you know, L like me. Where did plushies come from? And oh, why that's an interesting teddy one. Bears? Well, it all started in ancient times. With yeah, why is one called teddy bear one supposed to be? Which eventually evolved into simple rag dolls around the first century, nearly 2,000 years ago. So this guy ago. just Although, does, some are used as toys, like, fat videos. Others think they were used by then. witches to torture people as voodoo dolls. Nice. But Fast with a bit of a comedic in Germany, twist. Marguerite Steiff invents the first ever stuffed animal, a tiny elephant, which wasn't actually a toy. Ooh. It was just meant to be a pincushion. That's but interesting. But saw the potential I'm actually learning things. And created this stuffed bear. Based off artwork where President Theodore Roosevelt refused to harm a baby bear since it was defenseless. Richard Steiff then sent the bear to the president and got his blessing to name it after him. Teddy bear for Theodore Roosevelt. These plushes have evolved okay. all the way until today where they have reached the oh, peak of their evolution in the form of a slightly annoying law um, rabbit monkey named Ringy. And since they've sold oh, so well, there was we're a extending plug. the deadline by one week. So go buy one. For God's sake. After all that, you know, I was learning. I legitimately learned a few things. I didn't know the first ever stuffed animal was an elephant. I didn't know the thing about the teddy. 
And then that plug right at the end. <laughs> so yeah, this seems to be all about fact videos and some kind of stories here and there. But now I'm curious about what the heck is going on over on the actual Riggy the Rabbit channel. So let's check some of these out and then we'll go back to the other one. Okay, Riggy's riding it up. Oh, he didn't look... He didn't look where he was going though. Wow, I wonder if he actually got hit or if he got enough momentum to dodge that uh, truck there. We'll never know. Ricky the Runky? Runky? What the heck's a Runky? How extreme. What have they seen? Who are these guys? And wait, why is there an orange Ricky? There's other Riggies? There is many other Riggies. Do they crash? Yeah, they crash into them. They go head on and don't care. Riggy and Rosie, let's check this one out. Oh, little baby Riggy. Little baby Rosie. Is this from Up? Don't make me cry. I don't want to cry. Oh, look at them. Their boyfriend, girlfriend, Riggy and Rosie. That's so cute. And they get married. Well, hey, Riggy's had a full on life. What? What's going on? Oh no. This is like, yeah, up, but a bit different. And now they're old? What? When did Riggy get old? Apparently now. No, Rosie! Poor Rosie! Oh, that's sad. I thought Riggy was meant to be all humor, and then suddenly we get this. Oh, old Riggy with the teddy. Oh, no. No. Wait. Why would you ruin it at the end? Why would you ruin it at the end like that? That was not funny. Super Runky Bros. Riggy the Runky. Hey, Mario Bros. 2? I don't mind it being like this. The underrated Mario Bros. in my opinion. A, the door? What secrets will we find? Oh, not very good secrets. <laughs> Riggy Subway Surfs? Is this like... Subway Surfers? Is that what the game's called? Okay, Ricky knows how to graffiti. Isn't this more like Jet Set Radio? Okay, apparently not. We're going back to Subway Surfers. Hey, this is like Paper mario -y. I like this. What? This is a really cool style here. Yeah, very Paper Mario. He just dies. I've just realized every single short we've watched, he's always died. Okay, shall we watch all the ones on that other main channel of his? They're a bit more like animated cartoons, but we're gonna go back to whatever the heck is going on here and Why do honeybees die when they sting you? You know that honeybees can But they lose their like they're down for the count. But why? Bums, well, while basically. And carpenter bees can sting multiple Don't times. Don't they? No like behind a different story. Honeybee stingers are basically like a grappling hook. See the anchor Yeah, shape, and it, it pulls goes in, Oh, it's, it's kind of gross actually so now you think about it. Yeah, it pulls like their bottom half off. But tragically, it's not a clean break because the stingers not. connected not only to their butt but also a bunch of organs on the inside. It's terrible. It's basically separating from the lower half. Oh, yeah. And it's inside. I knew this. Can of chicken noodle soup upside down and oh, all the contents block it's out. horrible yeah, really and of course they need their insides to they function probably don't know when they sting you that there, that will actually happen the that's the sad the thing die when they sting you. You know the i don't think they actually know they get angry they sting you the and then they die but they don't know like that's gonna be their last ever thing they ever do you know they just think they're gonna go along and hurt you and be happy chappies all day about it and go off about their busy bee lives and get more honey and pollen and whatnot, but now they end up dying. I hope I don't reincarnate as a bee. I please. Jeans have this tiny pocket. The answer oh, yeah, will probably weird. annoy you actually. Because while they used to have is a it for pens? In 2023, now they're just annoying. Because whenever you're jeans? trying to get something in your pants, these something really small. The People think that originally they were invented alongside jeans for the old American gold rush in order to store gold dust because their main pockets easily got holes. Now, the tiny pockets would keep their shiny substance safe. Probably and something while this else. This may or may not have been true. I the main don't know. reason actually has to do with watches. Not oh. watches, but pocket watches. See, ah, that's makes pocket yeah. I, I said something well small. Ability, but it also just used to be everyone's Small primary practice. way of telling time until just after World War One, where everyone made the switch to wristwatches and eventually yeah, innovation. Oh no, Again, it's Rosie. It's World War One. So the jean companies still have this little pocket. Maybe they expect us to go back to pocket watches. I, I don't know. But now you know. Wow. I'm at, again, I'm actually learning things. Probably not. Time travel possible? But he'll probably yes. say something Although random. It's not like. the kind you're thinking of. We've all wanted to go into the oh, factory and meet ourselves and stop them from doing dumb things. Don't go to the factory. But as of right now, that doesn't look. Possible. Don't go to the factory. However, traveling forward.
forward through time actually seems more realistic than you'd think. Although the ways of achieving it are far away. Literally, because you'd have to be in space traveling really, really fast. Oh, uh, so yeah, fast yeah, yeah. So time slows down for you okay. while it keeps going the same rate on Earth. This theory was actually tested by putting one clock in a plane and That'd be around wild. for a while while the That'd other be one so wild. And in the end, the clock from the plane was actually behind. So yeah, speed wow. slows down time. And if you were going at the speed of light, time pretty much stops for you. So when you got back home, you could be the same age while the planet is in the far future. And all your loved ones are old or dead. Another way this oh may be possible goodness. is by getting That'd be a scary though. Quite past the event horizon, since gravity if you had the opportunity to do that, effect. would you do it? Let me know. The most mind-bending illusions that will oh, they're classic. Brain. First, there's this image which is completely still, but looks like it's moving. In fact, oh, yeah. there's tons of these, and they're all equally It kind of even does on this short here. You, just like those creepy heads in the Haunted Mansion. Oh, that was these freaky. two are some of the most popular, though. There's this weirdly drawn Triton, which doesn't actually connect, although it looks like it should. Weird. This one actually won multiple awards. It's a regular staircase, right? But if you flip it, don't see it? Blink and you might. That's wow. right. The stairs are right side up again. Doesn't matter which way you turn it. Hey, did you get rid of my graffiti? Yeah, and it wasn't easy either. Well, let's see if you can get rid of this. On the camera, really? I can't loop shorts. When Ricky you do this Ray. Uh, well, anyway. Speaking of these trips, what does he want to raise? You don't get paid enough. All about these mind-breaking sites. It's really crazy to watch, and wow. I'm live streaming it today. Oh, Link sublim. Below, oh. Check it out my live I chat, haven't played but, that. No, that looks I, great. I swear I've heard a bit before, though. The most oh, I've been needing to know this. The simplest and oldest of hand games. Rock beats scissors. Scissors beats paper. Paper beats rock. Where what is the origin? By the way, hats off to Leafy YTY, who's been suggesting this for nearly a hundred days. Well, let's rewind about 400 years ago to ancient wow, the commitment. they had a plethora of rock, paper, scissors like games, including one with a frog, a snake, and a centipede. I don't know how a centipede can beat a snake, but whatever. Another with a magic fox, a leader, and a hunter. But the most popular hand game? Yeah, I have yeah, no idea. It's nearly identical to modern day rock, paper, scissors. Over time, this game spread all around the world, most likely because while not everyone understands a magic fox, everyone's seen a rock, scissors, and some paper. Fast forwarding to today, the game remains largely yeah, unchanged. Ev everyone, everyone can understand it, no matter the language differences, school, and now you can play it with a computer, a culture differences, alarm, and it's so easy, even monkeys have been taught to do it. Are you implying monkeys are dumb? Not every monkey is a talking cartoon, Randy. Oh yeah. Oh, he's a monkey rabbit thing. I I I only just realized that. What if you were invisible? For centuries, That'd be humans fantastic. have wanted superpowers. From hey. flying to web swinging. But the one ability that's the most sought after? Invisibility. But even Is if it though? Able to give us the ability to turn invisible, why would Flying it versus well, invisibility. Well, it's shoot seems pretty realistic. It's not real invisibility. To make the Harry Potter kind, it may not be so easy. The way we see objects yeah, is all based that around clothes. light. Specifically photons. As they reflect off objects and into our eyes. Sorry, too complicated. Basically, light helps us see. Which is our first they problem. Ain't keep to make invisibility work, we would need to somehow bend light around our body. But in wow. this with armor, that would be insane. We'd also be slightly bending the objects around us, giving us away. Also, if our eyes weren't getting light, we'd actually go blind. So we would realistically need to pretty much be a pair of floating eyes. Oh, also, our entire bodies underneath the invisibility cloak would need to be naked. No, Riggy, don't. What? It's in the script, and the people want to see it. No, no one. That's the only call. You know? <laughs> I beg to differ. There's already. You can Riggy be invisible, but you have to be naked. Up. Nope, didn't need to know that. Would Get you? <laughs> would I? But now you know. I would. What if you oh, let's no find bones? out. Let's oh, your skeleton just up and you're looking way more like the. Oh, what would happen? Well, first up, obviously, you slosh immediately to the floor. All your organs yeah, floating be about and your skin oh, sagging flat God. as you just become a goopy pile of junk. Although we don't know exactly what shape you'd become because, shockingly, this has never happened before. But medically, we're fine, right? Yeah. Really? Out no of all the billions the of people? At all. And on top of that, breathing? You Not can one. Forget. We breathe by compressing and decompressing our lungs, which needs the room that our ribcage provides. But Again, no this is actually so legitimately interesting. Crushed, right. which means we need a you do learn ventilator. stuff That's here. That's not the only thing being crushed, though, because a lot of our veins are under pressure, too, giving us that tingling feeling in random spots like when one of your limbs fall asleep. Also, the only way you can intake food is through a tube since you don't have oh, to chew anymore. Nasty. Also, your brain is pretty much completely exposed now. Along That'll with the be rest it of then. Inside, that so would be, be it. Just end Although, it. Look at the plus side. You can't break your arm anymore, I guess. But now you Yay! Have what if you Oranges are lying to you? Why is that? Upset event since the McDonald's McDonald's. Because of the tangerines? So we all know that oranges, the fruit, are the same color as its name. And while the fruit came first, and the color came second from old French and Spanish heritage, Which is heritage, wild. the color is wrong! Confused? Let me explain. English wow. is always right, as in it's pretty weird. There are some words that are the same, but mean different things like record and record. Words that don't sound yep. like how they look, like doubt and island. And words that look like they should rhyme, but don't. Like cough, rough, through, and though. But the worst thing English has yeah. done, names that are confusing for no reason. This is an Orange. This is a tangerine. This color yep. is tangerine. And this color <laughs> is orange. In so what dumb. world is this okay? I need to know who did this. I just want to talk. Is Why are we okay with this? And I know what you're thinking. Dano, it's just a dumb fruit. Does it actually matter? Yes, it matters. Well, it's not like it's the end of the world. Yes, it is. The world is entirely ruined because of this one fact. Nothing is okay. Life is meaningless. That's it. That's the short. I'm leaving.
<laughs> that is dumb. It is dumb. It's so silly, man. It just doesn't help that we as people always have to name something. So if it's very slightly different, then we give it a new name. Oh, let's look at one of his most popular ones here to end it off. Riggy Scar Explained. I didn't even notice a scar. Where did Scar come from? Well, he penguins I don't stole know. my kidney, okay? Now stop asking about it. How did a penguin steal your kidney? It's a long story and one I don't feel like telling, so back off, Gano. <laughs> Is that legit? It's kind of funny, that's all. You know what? I'm leaving. No, no, okay, come on. All right, Don't see you me. later. Hold on, I know you're angry. What He's going out of the shore. Besides a raise. A raise. Anything else? Why does he keep going about raises? Fine. Like my channel and I'll be okay. You already have more subscribers than my main channel. Why do you care? <sighs> Go subscribe to Riggy the Rabbit Monkey and like his... Three shorts, I guess. See, was that so <laughs> well, now he's got five, that so that's a bit soon. better. Well, I'm gonna end it there for now. If you lot want me to watch more of this whole riggy thing and these videos where we get facts, but in the very strangest of ways presented, let me know in the comment section down below what to watch next. Over 2,000 likes would be absolutely incredible, so you know what to do.